Welcome back to the Stephen I Show. I want to remind you all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, our official website, thestephenisshow.com. Also, check us out on our YouTube channel, The Stephen I Show. Subscribe, like, and comment. We appreciate you. All right, so um, Beyonce, she did an um, exclusive interview with British Vogue where she confirmed that she decided to slow down from music and focus on her joy. And that she cited the reason is having such an intense workload since she came into the industry at, at 15 and wanted more family time. Uh, elsewhere in the interview, she discussed how the roller coaster year of 2020 has changed her. She said it would be difficult to experience life in a pandemic and the current social unrest and not be changed. She said, I have learned that my voice is clearer than when I am still. She also explained more detail why she decided um, to shift her focus. So I truly cherish the time with my family and my new goal is to slow down and shed stress and shed stressful things from my life. I came into the music industry at 15 years old and I grew up with the world watching and I have uh, put out projects nonstop. So I released Lemonade during the Formation World Tour, gave birth to twins, performed at Coachella, directed Homecoming, went on another world tour with Jay, then Black is King, all back to back. It's been heavy and hectic. I spent a lot of time focusing on building my legacy, representing my culture, the best way I know, now I've decided to give myself permission to focus on my joy. Now, if you wanna uh, see the magazine or read the magazine or download it, you can do so November 6th. What are your thoughts on her wanting to take this time to spend more time with her family and just focus on her, Tasha? I think it's best if that's what works for her. Mm -hmm. I think everyone has that moment in life where things change yeah. and the way the world looks, it looks different. and. Mm -hmm pandemic has done it for many of us it's done it for me so i get it and i think all of her fans should respect it yeah yeah uh savage i just want to say she should put some of that energy into making ivy park widely available because it it really derailed my whole day trying to give a question <laughs> i got it i got it you got it it was a little bit of a struggle no i think that um beyonce is she has done so much in her lifetime and she has amassed a good amount of wealth that affords her the ability and the freedom right. to take a step back and raise her children. And I think she's, you know, spot on that all of us, I would hope, have been changed in some way. Like I know for myself, I've reprioritized things that are important to me mm -hmm. quite a bit. And it's just, um, I, I, get like I could see where it can go one or two ways where you could say hey I need to do more just to distract myself from all the crazy and then the other side where you're like no I'm gonna take a hiatus and meditate and get my my chakras aligned and take care of my children before I can um come back into society so I I mean I'll miss her I love Beyonce all of her work Black is King I watched that little days I'm gonna watch it again sober but it was great <laughs> from what I can recall. Um, but no, I yeah, I I compl I hope that everyone's taking a step back at least mm -hmm. and getting them and putting themselves in priority because if you if you don't do it, who will? Right. Yeah. She good. So uh, people tend to look at people in the industry as something other than human, right? And we love them based off of the art that they contribute to us. And it becomes our portal into their world where their world is much bigger than that portal that we see. They're, they're normal people, they live lives. I happen to know a couple of people in the industry and the goal is to make the amount of money and to have to sustain a living, but still being able to be as normal as possible, whatever their normal is. And most of them just want a family life. They just want to have children, be married, you know, same things that we do, go to the grocery store and, or whatever the situation is that makes them normal. But you know how you feel when you want to chill out from work or you need a vacation. They're just made, able to have more money or more um, afforded more time to be able to do greater things than we could. Go for her, go for her. Yeah, I think a lot of us, like, you know, like she said, um, we've taken a look at ourselves over this pandemic and we see what is important. And, you know, again, she's, she's Beyonce, you know what I mean? Everyone knows the name, 
you know, they know Beyonce. So she could take a break. She can take a really good break and come back and it, it won't hurt her. It won't hurt her at all. Yeah, you know hey, just I mean? think about the art that we're going to get when she comes back. Think about what's going to yeah. happen when she comes back. That's going to exactly. be crazy. Exactly. So, yeah. Well, I hope she gets the time that she needs and wants for her family. All right, so August Alcina, um, he's not here for people attempting to come for him on social media. And he recently uh, made a series of videos to let it be known it's not it's not cool. So following a, a viral social media post that referred to him as irrelevant started circulating, Alcina had some things to get off his chest. In the video clips, um, August called out what he believes to be clout-driven society um, and then advised his followers not to feel pressured to constantly be on the internet, noting that he is oftentimes giving him permission to log off for the sake of his mental health. Additionally, uh, just, just so that the online trolls know where he stands when they state that he is an oxymoron to call him irrelevant, yet still talking about him. <laughs> Um, previous report, August Alcina uh, previously discussed his decision to open up about his relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith in an interview with People. He said, I never really cared about what people thought about me, but my personal life started to seep into my business life. Uh, there were certain falsities about me, and it was affecting my business relationships. He continued, I could understand why it looked like I'm reckless or disrespectful, so it really started to affect my livelihood, and I'm never okay with that. I got three kids to look after. Kill me, hate me, stone me, but bury me an honest man. All I can do is tell the truth. What are your thoughts, Tasha? This is one of those times I wish I don't have to go first. <laughs> <laughs> so I wear many hats. I'm a publicist by day. And this young man, uh, apparently he wants all the smoke. He says he doesn't want to be in the, in the eye of social media, but he posted his business on social media. He's like one of those people, you know, they're like, I'm going to block you. I'm about to block. I'm about to do a big Facebook suite. They does pose. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who cares? Let's like, do I, it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it was very irrelevant. Um, and I'm just not interested. That's all I got for it. Mm. Savage. I just, you know, it took a while. Like I thought he would have had a lot to say um, shortly after the backlash of him putting Jada's business out there, but I had the longest conversation about that or conversations about how you should not mess with people that don't have anything to lose. It's yeah. not a celebrity. He <laughs> I've always been told that. Yeah. <laughs> Because they're going to drag you down into the dirt with you, with them. Anyway, I think that August needs the man up. Or that's not, that's not sensitive. Hold on. <laughs> I think that if you, uh, if you do make such a declaration about a public couple, about, you know, anything that's going to draw some backlash to you, you need to be ready for what comes with it. It's true. And this is a situation where he bit off a little bit more than he can chew. And he's trying to get everybody together. I'm like, okay. I mean, that's what the internet is for. People go crazy on the internet. So if you don't want your business out there, don't say anything. Nobody would have ever known it. Like we had forgotten that Jada had you on her arm like a, a, a handbag. Right, yeah. At Hermes, but no, <laughs> maybe not Hermes. Anyway, um, yeah. August got to get it together. It's you can't take the high road after you laid down in the dirt and wallowed around with the pigs, baby. That, <laughs> you know, that ship has sailed. You 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 down there, so you got to deal with what people say. And unfortunately, people are mean. It's They're mean. If All on. You need to be mean behind yeah. the computer screen. Nasty. What Nini say? I can't think of a Nini quote, but insert Nini quote right here. Now <laughs> on the other side because he has mental health issues as well that he said. Um, but again, these are things you have to take into consideration when you put somebody's business out there. Yeah, and the thing, the fact of the matter is, it has it didn't hurt Will or Jada one bit. It became a joke, and then now they know they know him more for his for that entanglement than his music. Wait, but he and then he made a song about it, y'all. Made a song about it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I can't, I have no, I have zero sympathy for yeah. how he feels. Like you, 
you did too much. Chica. So I bet you any amount of money that Mr. Alcina does not know how to play chess at all. <laughs> if you if you wanted to step out and you needed to say something, you should have used your art to say it. You should have made a whole album dedicated to whatever it is you were gonna do. Make it fire. It has to be fire. And right. don't talk about it. Let people suspect what you talk about. Maybe in interviews as you promoted it, leaked little things out, but you can't come at the giant, bruh. The Smiths are a brand. They have yeah. been a brand for a couple decades now. You can't do that. You're August Alcina down here. They're the Smiths. It's, it's just not a good look. And I would not, I would not be surprised if when he walked into establishment for business, they say, oh no, we can't deal with you. Yeah. The Smiths are too big. They're too big in the industry. They deal with too many people. Too many dots are connected around you, bruh. You need the industry to survive and you just burned it. Yep. Very true. Very true. Well, our last subject. So uh, a lot of us, we use Airbnb. I know I use it. I, well, pre-pandemic, I use it a lot. Um, looking for nice affordable places. But if, unfortunately, one woman uh, got more than she bargained for during the second stay uh, in Brooklyn last Friday. So while I'm plugging a charger, Alexandra, Ale Alexandra, yeah, Alexandra noticed that something was off. She remembered a viral post about hidden cameras. Once she grabbed the charger, she noticed that it was actually a hidden camera in the living room, which was new information to her. Now she contacted Airbnb and let the company know of the ordeal. And while they did refund her and move her to a safe space, the host account remained listed for others to rent at that time. She took to Instagram and shared the detail event and claimed that all Airbnb did was give the host a warning, although their policy stayed otherwise. When she contacted the police office on October 27th, she was told that the officers weren't able to do anything because it was a gray area, being that the camera was in a common area. If the camera had been in the bathroom or bedroom, it would have been different. She exclusively told, um, told this article that the um, reporter, I mean, that the, um, I'm sorry, that the officers told her that they could not do anything because she wasn't on the lease and it wasn't her home. She gave further exclusive details about um, telling the police that she found a chip associated with the camera and inquired if the footage would be assisted with the investigation. The police told her, according to her, that they wouldn't result in any investigation because um, it's being in a gray area. Authorities told her to contact a lawyer if she wanted to pursue anything else. Now she added that Airbnb finally took the host page off their listing um, because a post that went viral and apparently she has a huge following on social media. So she thinks that's what got Airbnb to, um, their recognition. And, uh, but she, would, she wanted to warn other people, especially women, that this could happen to you and make sure you check your surroundings in Airbnb. So when you rent an Airbnb or if you have, do you ever worry about cameras or what, what would you do if you found this camera, Tasha? I probably would do the same thing that she did. Yeah. Down the, um, I'm, I'm the skeptic when it comes to Airbnbs. I, mm. I'm not comfortable. I've mm. done it a few times. I've done it once with a group of friends. Yeah. And even then I was like, <laughs> I don't know what it is, what the difference is between that and hotels, but I'm just, I'm just not I'm comfortable with it anyways. And then, and like there's different laws in every sit date yeah so, it's true she is she's gonna try to battle this she didn't know it coming in so it's kind of like the same situation with the uber or lyft you don't know what you're getting into mm -hmm. so you just need to be safe yeah uh savage i think that there is a reasonable expectation of privacy if you're in a hotel or if you're in an airbnb and all they had to do was say you're being recorded Period. Right. Let them know, and then you have the ability to decide: Do I want to stay here or not? Yeah. But I feel like if you do it under the guy, especially in a charger, like that's you know, if you if you you could get a you were hiding it, yeah, it was cheaper, yeah. and you could have it up. And to me, that's a little bit more honest because you're saying, "Look, I can see what you're doing," and I'm pretty sure that the owner. I hope the owner wasn't doing it to be a creep. Right. If you're doing it to say, hey, this person caused damage. This is the evidence of the damage. That's my hope. But um, people are weird. So they, they could have been watching them. But I recently did an Airbnb over the summer with my friends. And 
we laughed about it, but we were like, she's probably watching us because the hostess was somewhere around while we were there. Like she would mm -hmm. show up in the morning, we would see her walking in the garden. And I was like, oh my God. So it's just, to me, it comes along with me in an Airbnb, but I don't think that that's a, an excuse for the owner to not let people know that they're being recorded. I agree. You know, me and Ms. Parker, we um, stayed in the Airbnb in New York, actually, um, a few years ago. And apparently this was the, um, the owner of the Airbnb. It was his first, he was new to it. And so he would literally like come walk in while we're sitting down watching, see, like there was a building. So he was, we were on the bottom floor and there was like an empty floor. And then he lived on the third floor. He would literally just come in. You see a dog come walking in. Like, Who's that? And he'd come walking, hey, just check and see y'all do you Sir, you don't know what we're in here doing. <laughs> so yeah, Chicken, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> <laughs> so I've I've done some traveling and I'm not with the Airbnb thing. I'm just not. When I first heard about the concept, you know, I was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not down for staying in some stranger's house. Um, it's just their personal space. And that's how I look at it. At least with me, the comfort of a hotel is it's a common space. There's a lot of traffic going in and out of there. So the concentration of you being on me is very slim to none. Mm -hmm. of, of, of Airbnb situation, they could kind of stalk your ass a little bit. Um, <laughs> so I say this, this is my answer to Airbnbs. And I know why people utilize them because they want the privacy of actually having a residence away from home. You can do the same thing with big companies. Um, um, what's it, the Wyndham, they have properties like that. I try to get condos when I go away and that's the, the specific thing that I look for. I want the condo living, I want a small apartment. These conglomerates have these things for you. You just have to research them. You don't have to stay in an Airbnb. They are houses that belong to Holiday Inn. They're houses that belong to the Hilton. You can go rent these things. You just have to research and look for them. The price point might not be the same, but at least you won't find your naked behind on the internet somewhere. Right. I actually love Airbnbs. That's what my go-to when I go travel, unless it's like, you know, home or something, like for a hotel or something. But, um, but I go for ones that you have the whole place to yourself. Um, and I go, and a lot of them I found, like even in Miami, especially like where there's a lot of tourists, that people don't live there. They just, own, they own the places and they, you know, that's how they make their money off of by, by renting it out. Like I stayed in one, the man, he had like three or four of them in Miami that he didn't live there. The only downside of that is they usually don't have like the different amenities, like the place, I will say, oh boy, they walked in, he had liquor, food, snacks, all four. So, you know, you just have to be careful, but everyone be mindful of your surroundings, especially when you're traveling and you don't know where you are. But listen, Tasha Mack and Savage, I want to thank you both for joining us. Tasha, Tasha again, tell us where to, um, where we can tune, tune into the podcast. Uh, or Not Podcast on Facebook or YouTube. You can follow us on Instagram at Or Not Podcast as well. Thank you right. for having me. Most definitely, thank you. Savage, anything you want to say before you go? I just want to say, everyone stay safe. I hope your family stay safe. We're going to make it through this election. Yes. Which way it goes. And yeah, just stay prayed up, stay safe, and take care of yourself. And thank you for having me. And if you have not done so, vote, vote, vote tomorrow. Vote. Vote. Well, ladies, thank you again. Check out some of your movie reviews. And we'll be right back after and, this. And can I just tell the people before we leave, yeah. please check out No Lies Detected on Instagram. Yes. And No Lies Detected on Facebook. We have me and my uh, partner, uh, David M. Rain, we have now completed our five episodes leading up to the election. So please watch the five episodes on Facebook and on our YouTube uh, channel, No Lies Detected. After you do that, then jump onto the Instagram and watch me and David on our live as we size up all five episodes. Thank Sounds you. Sounds great. Check it out. Check it out. All right, right back after this, y'all.